That was it. That was it. <laughs> I didn't even think to, to check the breaker. Duh. <laughs> oh, God. Have mercy on me, you guys. This is it's been a long day. That's really cool looking too. I love to watch these things run. Don't stick your finger in there. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Pair of OG, and uh, we are going to, <coughs> excuse me, do the second part of our pretty big uh, fuel generator build here. Uh, this is this uh, power plant's going to produce 10,000 megawatts power by the time we're done with it. So, um, as I mentioned to you in the last episode, I, I went ahead and got the second floor of our tower here done and uh, so these are also all uh, refine refineries uh, generating fuel and I got the conveyor belts in I got the wiring in for the uh, you know for the power and so forth and um, so what we need to do here is we need to uh, do some pipe work uh, we have to run a, an oil pipe up here and we have to run a fuel pipe back down and then when we're finished with that, then we'll start working on the third floor, which is going to be all of our plastic processing, our polymer resin processing. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, let's just go ahead and bail off the side here. What we're going to do for the incoming oil pipe, it's going to come off of there. So let's go down here. And I think I want it to I think I might actually run that through this second hole here. It is going to clip into this wire though. But I've kind of, you know, and when it comes to wiring in this game, I, I mean, I, I don't try and deliberately clip stuff, but it's just, it's very difficult not to, to have wiring clip. Um, and so I've kind of just resigned myself to, you know, if I can keep it from not clipping, fine, but if it clips a little bit, it is what it is. Um, and in this particular case, I, you know, I want the wiring to stay in the center of these pillars, just, you know, so it's consistent and, um, what's the word? <laughs> it's, got, it's, it's kind of late. I'm getting tired. I need to go to bed pretty soon. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Okay. So yeah, let's, uh, well, actually, you know what we could do? We could actually run the pipe through here. There's no reason not to. Um, except for that still isn't going to help us though, because I'm going to be running this wire up to the top. So, yeah. We could also run it through the side, but then it's going to clip through that beam there. Unless we... Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Get you on vertical mode. I actually want to run this up here so that way we have power up here for our hovering. Yeah, you know what? We're we're just, we're not going to worry about it. It is what it is. And in, in a real world situation, the cable would be routed around the item, or it would be going through conduit. So I don't want to spend all day trying to figure this out. So what I'd like to do here is let's make sure we're. 
um, using, yeah, oil pipe colors. And I think we'll just bring this over to here. Did that? No, that's right. Okay. All right, now let's get the... Uh, let's go into logistics here and get the pipe. Stackable pipeline. That's what we want. And I think... All right, if we lock that right there... That's going to need to go higher than that if we're going to bring it through here. So let's put this down first. I think that I think that's where it needs to go right there. That looks right. Hopefully that's correct. <clears throat> okay. If we make this Horizontal to vertical. We might need to move this back. Yeah, I just don't like the way any of that's looking. Um, let's move back another one because the thing is I don't want it I don't want it clipping into the other pipe I don't mind if it's resting on it but I don't want it clipping into it okay get over there let's let's actually put that in place for oh yeah see damn it Hmm. Well, maybe we better we should do our rise over here then. Plus that's over too far anyway. Yeah, let's try that instead. That's actually not a bad idea anyways cuz then we can walk underneath it through here. Okay, so if we just take this and do this with it and then raise it up to here and then go that's auto 2d that's noodle horizontal to vertical I mean what the hell's wrong with that I guess it's just too steep for it Hey, let's try something. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's try that again. What if we hold it out to here? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that doesn't look terrible. Okay, so we're going to want to bring this to here. Turn it that way. And then go to this way. And then we'll get the stackable here. Now let's see what it does. That's not... Hmm. It's weird. Okay. Um, also, that almost looks like... Is that going to be too high for going in through here? No. I think that's exactly the right height. Okay, then let's try this. Let's put you here. 
And you here... And do that. That looks... Okay, yeah, that looks good. That'll work. Okay, now we're going to need to... Put that there. And we'll put this here. And then we should be able to run that right through there. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Okay. <clears throat> and I guess it does actually... Well, yeah, but we're going to have a problem when we go up with this. I suppose... Well, let's not worry about the, the cable right now. Okay, so now we want this to go all the way up to the top. And I think what we'll do is we'll put a pipe floor hole there. And just run that right up to there. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll just, you know, again, we'll just have to assume that that wire was routed around this. Okay, and now what we want to do is... I... Th uh, okay, if we go all the way to here... Oh, I'm losing power. Okay, bring it back to... And then bring it into there. Does this look right? Yeah, it does look right. Okay, good. Now, what we're going to have to do here with this, though, is we're going to have to put a pump on this. Um, so we're going to do a Mark II pump. And we're going to put it right down until it just starts hitting the curve. And then we'll hook up the power to it. There. And again, we're just going to assume that the wire was wrapped around it. Because I don't want to fight it. I mean, I, yeah, no, nope, yeah, let's just go. Let's move on. We're going to move on. Okay. So, yeah, that's all we got to do. That gets the oil up to, up to the second floor and we're good to go on that. Now we need to get the fuel lines run back down and we're going to come off of the end of this. And it looks like I've already got them wrapped around. Yeah, we did. Okay. If if I didn't have to, well, you know, have to be in a relative term, run the pipes through the center of these girders, I would just move the pipe over. But we're just trading one problem for another one at that point. Now it's not going through the cables, but instead it's going through the pipe. Um, I mean, I suppose what... I suppose we could just move all the wires to the inside of the, you know, of these uprights. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Nope, not going to do it. Let's come back over here um, and let's switch back to... Uh, this pipe now, the fuel-colored pipe. 
And I guess I don't have any I don't have any power on this corner. Let's get that up to there. And get that to there. In fact, I'll even bring it up to here because we need to we need to do that. Okay, so for here, um, what I think I want to do, we got to we got to hook into there, but we also have to tee off and go that way too. So probably a floor hole right here. Like so. And then we'll bring this all the way down to here. I mean, hell, we might as well just bring it to there. Okay. And then we want to put that there. Uh, I don't think that actually connected in there, so let's redo this. There we go. That's better. I feel like we should have this here. What? Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, we're right. That's right. Okay, let's color that. Well, wait a minute, though. Why is this... Why does this have a, a, a thingy on it? None of the rest of these do. I'm confused. So what else is new? Put that there. Now see, now that one's not straight. So we gotta move that over. That's straight. There. That's what we're after. Yeah, that was weird. I, I don't know. Oh, maybe it maybe it was left there from the first when I first ran the pipe. That's probably what it was. Okay. We'll run this over to here. And into there. And then we need you to come over here. Like so. Let's also make those black just because I think it looks nice. And that should do it. That should get all the fuel to the second set of generators. Fantastic. I'm going to run these up again. We have power at the next level. Uh, let's do the same thing on this side. And we need to actually grab this. Go to here and then up to here. I should already have those in place over here. Yeah, because I used that to get these wires started. I do want to take these 
top five back down though because we have to put the the blue printed ones in there when the time comes okay let's get up here and I want to grab this and once again we're gonna go up five Looks like I brought that one all the way through the foundation. Okay, and then let's grab that power connection. I grabbed the wrong one. I'm going, what the hell's going on there? It's this one. Got it. Okay, so for here, let's just put one in the middle for now. So we've got some blueprints for the plastic processing, and that's going to be these residual plastic refineries. So let's start with the southeast corner, which is this one. And we want to, hmm, where do we want to put this? I think I think we want the one on the right to be, yeah, to be hovering over the center. And then we want to bring it this way. Let's, oh, damn it. Hit the wrong button. Try it again. We're doing the southeast corner, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, I gotta turn it around this way. Wait, no, I grabbed the wrong thing. I'm just having one hell of a time tonight. <laughs> Maybe I should just quit and go to bed. Ah, uh, okay. lock it and then we want to move it over two clicks that way I believe and I think we also want to move it one nudge that way let's put that one in place okay and then um, we'll get the southwest corner Flip it around. I did it again. Southwest corner residual plastic. There we go. All right, let's lock that. We need to bring it this way. Uh, yeah, like that. I think that's right. That is correct. All right, that's not going to work. Let's move you to there and we'll get rid of you. So all of these are set up to make plastic out of polymer resin and water. Let's go into here and we'll set this to pipes now, the blue color for our water pipes. And we just have to connect those two together there. And I'm just using 
Mark V belts all the way down. I don't have to, but I am. I'm just doing it because it's easier. Okay. That takes in um, 60 res per minute. You know what? Why don't we update this to a Mark II belt? Just because sometimes that can cause slowdowns, even though mathematically it's supposed to work. And it looks like this conveyor system is right down the center, so we're good there. Okay, now let's go grab the northeast. Res plastic, residual plastic. And I believe we want that to go there. Yeah, that's that's correct. Okay. Okay, let's pipe in. Hmm. Okay, I, I guess I could have put lifts on those, but I didn't, so. Okay, now let's find the northwest blueprint for residual plastic. That's this one here. And uh, I think that's where we want that to go to. Look, looks right. <clears throat> Pipes in. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get these lifts in next. Yeah, I could have included these in the blueprint, but I didn't think about it, so it is what it is. I think I'm going to upgrade all of these to Mark II. No reason not to. Excellent. Okay, so that gets all the inputs connected. And we have to, you know, we're going to set up two, we're going to set up two water uh, extractors, which we'll do after we're done up here and run water pipe up here. Um, so now for our input here, we've got that floor hole down there and we've got this set up up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a Mark V lift and bring this, bring that up to here. Then what we want is a merger, and we're going to want that, I think, right there, with the output going that way. Oh my god, what in the hell am I doing? Okay, well, yeah, that's the that's the correct direction that way. We just need to move it over here. That looks good. Okay, now let's get rid of these guys. And we'll redo the belt again, or not the belt, the lift. To make sure it's fully connected. Okay. This needs to be a Mark IV belt. And now, um, 
We want to bring um, a lift out of here. So let's put a floor hole right. Is that right? No, it needs to come this way. Right there. And bring this up to here. I think that's right. Nope, I got it too high. Needs to go to there. And that is a mark five. Oops. So wait. So yeah, this belt's going to have a total of 600, I think. Polymer resin. Yeah, because each floor is producing 300. And so that's why we need Mark 5 for when both floors are combined. And this, um, that actually doesn't need to be a Mark 5. It could be a Mark 4, but we'll just leave it a Mark 5. It's not going to matter. Right. Okay. And I think that's it for, for this setup. Everything's looking good down there. Now, uh, we need to take care of our outputs. And I, oh, I forgot to uh, remove these two. Because uh, we're going to have another ceiling, of course. Uh, this tower is going to go up even higher than this, by the way. I didn't already make that obvious. So let's get rid of these. And we're going to put... The plan is to put the sink right down in that spot there. So that means we want this to be the output. Right. Okay, so you looks like you're up two notches there. One, two. Maybe they must be up three notches. Yeah, looks like they're up three notches. Well, it it's actually two. I only did these up one. So we go one, two. One, two. One, two. There we go. Okay, we want mergers here with the output going that direction and... Right there looks good. Okay, so you'll be 30, you'll be 60, but I'm going to go. There's just a little bit of a dead spot there where I don't have power. Get up here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to make that mark two. So 30, 60, 90. 120. So let's make this one a mark three. Just to give us a little bit of extra room. 30, 60, 90, 
120, 150. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, I want you... Come out this way a bit. You're not going to go all the way over there, are you? No. Okay. So we'll put your thing right there. Is that the right height? That looks like it. Yeah. So we got to come to here. Go back to. Except for that's supposed to be Mark Three. I meant that to be Mark Three, but I made it Mark One. Okay, so we have 150 coming around here. And we had another 30, so that's 180. We're still fine with Mark III there. Uh, dead spot. Uh, then we have 220. 180, yeah, 220, so Mark III is still good. Now we have 250, so Mark III is still good. But here we're going to have 280, so this now needs to be Mark IV. At that point. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm confused. I'm counting the wrong thing. This is only outputting 20 per minute, not 30. Ah, oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, so... So 20's fine. 40's fine. Oh, God, that's so frustrating. So we can keep that a mark one for 40. But when we get to 60, then we'll keep that a Mark II. And then Mark II's fine for 80. And then we have 100, so Mark II's fine for 100. So we'll keep this Mark II all the way back. Now we have 120, so... Yeah, so we'll stick with Mark III here. 120, 140, 160, 180, and then 200 coming out the end of here. Uh, so Mark III is fine for all of that. This does not need to be a Mark IV. I was basing it off of the polymer resin, not the, the output of the plastic. Okay, so that should be fine. Now we need to get this down there um so let me think about how I want to do that we can't really oh you know what we could do we could run through one of the corners of the pipe uh, I mean of the girders yeah there's no reason we can't do that um and that's even lined up correctly too it's almost like I meant to do it that way. Okay, let's just move, remove this momentarily just to get get it out of the way. And we're going to put a floor hole here. Okay, so let's grab a Mark III lift. And bring it down to there. And then we want this to be reversed. Is that all straight and looking good? Looking good in the neighborhood. Then we can put this back in place. And nothing's clipping. Looks beautiful. Well, a little bit of clipping there, but we're going to pretend like we didn't notice that. <laughs> 
Okay, let's come down here. And we want a floor hole here. Mark three lift. All the way. Oh, you know what we're going to have to do here, actually? We should be able to make this work, but I'm going to remove those. And I think I'm going to also remove these for now. Let's try that again. So we have a clear line of sight. <clears throat> Because what we need to do is we need to be able to see that top hole up there. Alright, here's what I think I want to do. I'm going to... I want to put this here. has to go over here. Okay. Let's put... Uh, okay, let's put you there. Except for... Yeah, that should be right. Okay. Now, if we just look directly at that hole, we can make that go all the way up. But that's the only way to do it. Because it, if I don't look directly at that hole, then it stops at its maximum limit. But as long as I look at that hole, then it'll pop all the way up into it. And I did, I actually did show you guys this in an a, episode a long, long time ago. Um, way the hell back when we set up uh, up in the northern forests uh, we set up some sulfur and uh, and some quartz right here and we have this huge huge cliff where I made that big um, hyper tube and all that so anyway point being you can get around the maximum limit of these if you can just see the destination hole and it's kind of handy little trick uh, but I did it this way because I want actually want this to be up off the ground a bit, just so it's out of the way. Very good. Okay. Now, let's come over here. And we're going to put a sink down. Oh, damn it. I need a reinforced plate. All right, let me go grab some. Okay, let's grab an awesome sink. Turn it this way. And we'll have it... Uh, Lock that in for a minute. Yeah, I guess we might as well have it all the way back since all since these are all all the way back. No reason not to, I guess. And we'll run. Where's the connector? It's on this side. I guess we could just run right off over there, right? Don't see why not. This wire here is not going to stay there. It's just there momentarily. All right, we want a Mark III belt coming this way. And we want it to be up to the high setting. We want that to go there and this to go in... What the hell did I just do? I lined that up on... The wrong thing, not to mention that that's also incorrect. Let's bring this back to, um, right, two, one, two, I think so.
Wrong again. That's actually probably just the default height, I think. Indeed it is. Okay. And that's just going to sink all the plastic until and unless we need it in the future for some other production. It's a beautiful thing. I already have 29 coupons again. Okay, so that takes care of everything except for the water. So water is next. I'm stuck. Because there's a dead zone here. Really? Come on, man. Get up there. There you go. So let's think about this. The water... I think I'm going to run the water up this side. Because we've got the oil coming up that side. I believe that's what I want to do. So let's actually get the top part of it done then first. Logistics, pipe floor hole right there. All right, that's right in the center. That all looks good. Let's make that black. Can make the floor hole black too. Because why not? Let's grab that floor hole and put it right there. And we'll bring her on down. To, I think, there. No. To there. I believe that's correct. Okay. Do I have everything I need to make two water extractors? I do. Look at me, my bad self. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's put this extractor, line it up on that seam, and we'll push it out um, maybe that far. That's almost level. Oh, shit. Almost level with that, but not quite. Okay. Let's put another one in. Just right next to it. Um, but lined up more or less on that seam there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Grab you, and we'll just put you right in the center there. Uh, all right, let's grab this. And go over two. That into there, that into there, that into there. And that to there, go back to. 
actually, hold on, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go into, whoops, uh, into here. All right, that looks good. Now these guys uh, need to be down clock to a hundred each, because that's uh, the requirement up above. And let's also color them blue for water. How about that, huh? So we're gonna need to put two pumps on this because that thing's going up um, 80 meters. So let's grab that pump there and flip it around and put it so it's just about touching but not quite the curve. And once you have one of these pumps in place, then the game actually marks where the other one goes, which is super convenient. And that should be good enough because each one of these pumps has a head lift of 50 meters. And that, that's 50 meters right there, right? And then it still needs to go up another 35, 40 or so from there. Okay, let's power this pump here. And likewise, we'll do the same thing on this one. And you guys are going to need power, and look what we have conveniently placed right here. Well, except for... Yeah, we're going to have to come around the front so it's, it's neat. So we'll put you right there. And we'll put you... Right about there. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, okay, why isn't that pumping? Oh, maybe it's not, it's because I don't have the machines turned on up above. That's probably what it is. Oh no, there it goes. I guess it just needed. We just it needed enough water pressure to build up first. Okay, we're good. So is this other one also started pumping? Not yet, but it probably will here fairly soon. All right, you guys. Uh, I think that finishes the build aside from the cosmetics and, the you know, the actual building itself. Um... We should be ready to turn this thing on. I think. So, what we're going to do... Um, we don't have to hook up the, uh, the oil extractors for a bit. I think we have it. We're going to have at least 8 minutes, maybe even 10 minutes... of worth of oil down there in those um, buffers... And I, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, I'm pretty sure we have enough power in those nine batteries to prime all of these machines. But before we do that, um, I want to go back over here. We're gonna we're gonna put this on its own um, on its own grid, but you know, just patch it into everything else. And to do that, we got to do that down here. All right, I need this AI limiter because we're going to make a switch. And it looks like we have everything else we need. Okay. We're going to go over to our little substation here. And I'm actually going to... I want to move this guy over.
Okay, if I put him there. Oh, you're not going to let me do that, are you? Okay. Then uh, what we're going to do here is... Do I have any more connections here? Oh. Yes, I have one more. Okay. We're going to connect this straight into the grid. Uh, um, into the main power well. Into the whole factory is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Just temporarily because I because we need to move this. Alright, so I want here, get on the ground. Okay, I want you here. Actually, you know what? I think it is gonna need to go that way. There's a little trick. If you if you lock something in, and then if I just press the arrow keys, it's going to move based upon the snapping. But if you hold down control, you can actually move at a half a snap, which in this particular case, I believe I want. Okay, so we'll press H to lock that. We'll hold control and we'll move at a half a a half a snap because I don't want. Yeah, I don't want those two insulators touching each other for obvious reasons. I mean, the game actually probably doesn't care, but I do, right? Okay, so um, let's just very quickly disconnect that, put you back there, put you back there, and turn you back on. And this is our current power without you know, without all this new stuff that we've done. Uh, so we have a total production of 3,840 megawatts. Uh, with all, all of our coal generators that we have in place. Uh, remember, we have the big coal plant here, and we got a little one just a little bit north of that, and then we have another small one way up in the rocky desert where we, you know, first started. Okay, now um, we're going to connect another cable to that and put that in uh, that side, yeah. Okay, and then we're going to connect a cable from here to here. But I'm not, I'm not going to join the two grids just yet. But well, right now, there, this is connected to that. But we're going to disconnect that it, down on the other end. That's why, you know, it still shows everything there. Okay. Now, let's uh, run back down here. And it won't, it won't take long at all to get this thing going. I mean, we should see our first fuel generators kick in, in a, probably in about a minute or so from the time we actually turn it on. Okay, so right now we're on uh, we're on the old grid, but if we disconnect this line, there yeah, we're off. Okay, and we're not producing any power at all because we've just dis completely disconnected from that grid. All right, now so our uh, our main input. So this factory is actually over on that side, isn't it? But we could, yes, they don't have any power here now. Uh, what we could do, let me get back over here. I just don't really have a a clean connection from here to there. We could make one, but I'm just trying to minimize having to set up extra poles. I'm way thinking about this too hard. Okay. Sorry. I <laughs> as soon as we're done with this episode, I'm going to bed. My brain's not firing on all cylinders. Yeah, we're just gonna run a wire from that capacitor 
right to there and it should fire it up okay are we ready to do this let's disconnect from there and here we go oh I forgot something we need to patch all of these in here Oh, you know what I forgot? All right, hold on. We gotta, we gotta stop this. I oh, here we go. We're falling. <laughs> I forgot to um, hook up the power for the machines up above. Ah, for Pete's sake. Um, we're gonna have to put this on. Wait. To get up here. Yeah, see, it already started sending some, but that's okay. If there's a, a little bit up here, we just don't want to. We don't want to really jam it up, is all. I think to get this started, we're going to do this cheesy McSqueezy style, and then I'll fix it later. Um. So let's just put this here, and actually let's upgrade it to a Mark II pole. And I absolutely don't give a shit about any clipping right now, because this is very temporary. But we got to bring these machines online, otherwise we're going to get jammed up before we even get started. Okay, so that should be five connections there. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, there we go. Wait a minute. Why? Okay, why aren't these guys turning on? They're still running. Oh! That was it! That was it! <laughs> I didn't even think to, to check the breaker, duh! <laughs> oh god! Have mercy on me, you guys. This has been a long day. That's really cool looking, too. I love to watch these things run. Don't stick your finger in there. Okay, now, now we're in business. I mean, <laughs> didn't even think to check the breaker at all. Oh my god. Okay, so anyway, all we need to really do, uh, it, well, I mean, they're already running, right? We're already up to 950 megawatts, 1550. It's just going to keep climbing from there. Um. We could almost probably even disconnect this even right now. But let's let it run just a little bit longer. Yeah, we're we're all we're already more than double what it's being in consumed, so we should be able to disconnect this now. And everything should just keep running. Then we'll just put those batteries back on there. Okay, Whew. that was rough. <laughs> that was really rough. But this is this is good. It's looking good. Obviously, it's going to take a while for everything to come online and everything to fully, uh, you know, come to 100 percent and everything. But uh, what we have to do, of course, now is just kind of keep an eye on things and see how it goes. So every all of these refineries down here have green lights. And uh, let's look at the end ones in terms of oil. Oh yeah, shoot, that's like already completely full. Both of them are. So if these two on the end are full, then the rest of these are gonna be full too. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, let's go uh, take a look at the next floor. I 
I see green lights everywhere. Let's check the ones on the end. Okay, that one's not full, but it is... Neither is that one. That's gonna... It almost made it. But, I mean, we just need to give it a little time and then it'll be fine. Okay, we also have plenty of power now to kick in our oil extractors. So let's get that hooked up to to here. Let's run it to here. Good. So that should get these guys going again and we got a white light because remember these things are overclocked but we know that means they're working and I see a white light over there it's a beautiful thing interesting that this guy doesn't have any oh wait a minute no uh, oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> no wonder it doesn't work. These things won't fire on unless you have something connected to the the insulator. There we go. Just checking the oil levels in these guys. As long as it has at least 12 when, the, when it cycles over, then it'll keep running. Okay, this one is still a little bit... Hmm. That should have a lot more oil than that. Uh-oh. Why are these jammed up? Okay, we've got a problem. You don't... Okay, you don't have any water. Neither do you. So we have a water problem here. That explains why everything else is starting to get backed up. Okay, so why don't we have water? Yeah, see, we're completely full of water here. So the problem lies with this pump right here. did have that bass backwards, didn't I? Yeah, I did have a bass backwards. Yep, that's the problem. Okay. That is the problem. I thought I had it right side up, but I did not. <laughs> Look at that. It's amazing how things work when you set them up correctly. There we go. Okay. Okay, we gotta. Uh, we still need to wait for the water to get down here. It probably it'll take a little while because it's gonna want to fill these other machines up first. But it is coming through. Okay, you're getting water. You're starting to get water. Same here. Okay. I think I can pretty honestly say this is the biggest project that I've done so far in this game. It, it, it's not even that it was super complicated. Um, I think the computer factory and the even the heavy modular frames was more complex than this, but not as big. I mean, this was huge, you know, to put all this together. Okay, so... Um, I... I we're going to have to do this in three parts, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> I'm wiped out. Uh, so we're going to wrap up this episode here. The plan for the next episode will be to... Um, we're going to we're gonna put at least, I'm thinking, two more floors. But the next floor after this one... You know, each one of our floors has been 10 meters... Or, sorry, 40 meters high. Uh, but the next one after that is not going to be that high. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill it with batteries so that, uh, you know, we have a massive battery backup 
for our factory too. And then, uh, you know, then we'll work on some cosmetic things to finish this out. Plus, uh, when I bring you guys back in the next episode too, um, this factory should be running smoothly. I'll keep an eye on it, and if I run into any issues, of course, I'll correct them. But it just needs a little time to run and, you know, get everything, all the buffers filled and all that sort of thing, and then it should just run smooth as a baby's butt. At least that's the hope, right? So, yeah, we will, the plan will be to finish this thing in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we are now currently up to 7,600. But this should climb all the way to about 10,000 megawatts when everything is fully online. And when that happens, then we'll go back down to the other end and flip the switch and just add it to the overall power grid. And then we'll have a nice big chunk of power for some time to come. That's it. See you guys later. I'm going to bed. Bye.